So today we'll be working with the pan responder of React Native to create the simple but effective UI of the Apple Music app. So if you use the app, you see this now playing toolbar at the bottom when the song is minimized. And when you just pan on this, you see that the icon increases in size and you get these other details at the bottom. You can also continue scrolling here and you'll get the other songs that are available. When you scroll back down, and you pull down, you see that the icon decreases in size and we bring it back to the bottom like it was. This should be fun to build, so let's begin. As always, I have an empty React Native project I've created with Expo. Let's start by importing certain things that we'll need. The first is gonna be dimensions. To get the dimensions of the screen, then animated, pan responder, scroll view, an image, and the slider here on top. Let's first get the screen height and width. The way we'll do that is we've created two constants. One is screen height and screen width. Dimensions.getWindow.height to get the screen height and similarly dot width to get the width. Let's come in our render method here, get rid of this view and start by creating an animated view. The animated dot view. This will be the main view that covers the complete screen. So we'll say style is equal to a flex of one and a background color of white. This background color is something that we'll animate later. Inside this, we'll have an absolutely position animated view on which we'll add the pan responder. So adding styles to this animated view, we'll say style is equal to a position of absolute, a left of zero, right of zero. We'll give it a Z index of say 10 so that it stays above everything else. A background color of white and a height, which is equal to the screen height. I'm in fact gonna give this a background color of say orange so that it's more visible to us. There we see it's covering the whole screen. What we need to understand is that we're gonna try and start this screen from the bottom here. So we'll basically move this down till we only have this top part of the screen visible. For that, we have to set the top position of the screen. We'll do that by creating an animated value. So here in our component will mount, we'll create this dot animation is equal to new animated dot value x, y, start by giving an x position of zero and a y position of screen height minus 80. So that we have only the top 80 pixels here at the bottom. Next, what we do is in our render method here, we'll create a constant called animated height. And we we'll set that to transform. And we transform this dot animation using the get translate transform method. So as of now, this method is doing nothing. We're just creating the screen height minus 80, which is a static value, and we'll be applying it here. But later, when we're using our pan responder, the pan responder gives us negative and positive values, which this get translate transform automatically translates onto our y and x axis as required. So that saves us the headache from setting the values manually. We'll speak about this more later in this video. So we'll just put this into an array. I will say animated height, and you'll see that this height will move down at the bottom. So the screen is starting from screen height minus 80 now, instead of starting from the top. So inside this animated view now, let's add our image, our text, and our play and pause buttons. So we'll put them into another animated view, which will be the height of the header. So we'll say animated.view. Let's style that. So we'll say style is equal to a height of say 80, so that it takes up exactly this much height. We'll give it a border top width of one, a border color, border top color, for nice gray, a flex direction of row, and align items of center to vertically align the items. So inside this view, we'll have two more views. One will have the image and the text with it. That'll be one view. And there'll be one view which will have the icons on the side. So we'll combine the image and text into a view which has a flex of four. So that takes up a lot more space. We'll give it a flex direction of row again. And to vertically align the items, we'd say align items center. So inside this first view, let's put an animated view, which will have the image so that we can animate the image. We'll give the animated view a height of 32, a width of 32, and a margin left of 10. These three values will be animated, but for now we'll just hard code them. We'll put the image inside it with a style of flex equal to one, a width of null, height of null, so that it takes up all the available space. And we pass in the source, 
which will require an image from my assets folder. You can put in any image that you like and let's save that out. So as you can see, we've got that image on the left. Next, along with this animated view, we want the text to be displayed. So we'll say animated.text, song will be Hotel California, live version. And we'll get some properties to the text. So we'll style it by saying opacity of one, which we'll animate later, font size of 18 and a padding left of 10. As we can see, we've got the name there. Let's just change this background color back to white for now. And lastly, let's add the play and pause buttons. So that'll be another view here. So we'll put in another animated dot view because we want to animate the opacity. Inside this, let's put in some icons. So for that, let's import the icons on top. These are already provided to us by Expo. So we'll say import ion icon from at Expo forward slash vector icons. So inside this animated view, we we'll put in the ion icons. Name of the icon is MD pause. Size is equal to 32. I'm just going to duplicate this. The other one will be MD play and the size will remain 32. Obviously that doesn't look right. So in this animated view, we're just going to add some styles. Again, opacity of one, which we'll animate later. Flex of one, flex direction of row and justify content of space around. So as you can see, we've got the icon where we need them. This particular view is taking up flex of four, which we mentioned over here. And this particular view is taking up a flex of one. So now we've got our basic UI set up. In the next video, we'll start animating this.